So what I'm going to talk about today comes from Cosmic Book News. Again, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but I'm going to say that this would not surprise me at all if it did. Take this with a very large grain of salt, and if it's your thing, bite the lime and take the shot of tequila as well. The title of the article is The Flash Gal Gadot Out Rumored Recast. So for months now, we've been hearing Gal Gadot was going to stay as Wonder Woman for the new Flash movie that's coming out. But now, and for those of us who have actually been watching what the media and then the nitwit losers on social media have been saying about her completely uh, appropriate and I would say adult responses to conflict that has occurred to a region of the world where she comes from, that has apparently created some optics and problematic perception issues. Or again, maybe this is just gossip and maybe this is somebody just pulling something out of their ass. However, I think this could be a real possibility Obviously, Warner Brothers has backed up the truck and given J.J. Abrams enough money to set up his own private army and become, I would say, probably a top three Bond villain. Literally, it's now J.J. Abrams' DC Universe. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a really stupid idea. Why would anybody take Gal Gadot out of the role of Wonder Woman? She is Wonder Woman. Why would anyone take Henry Cavill out of the role of Superman? He's Superman. And in my opinion, why would anyone take Ben Affleck out of the role of Batman? Now, the article does say this does not mean that Gal Gadot is gone forever. What's important to consider is that this woman is pregnant with her third child. That could also be a contributing factor to this. Think about that. <laughs> Gal Gadot, the woman who plays Wonder Woman, already has two children. Given the timing of this, giving a shooting schedule, maybe her wanting to actually spend time with her family and God bless her for it, is what's driving this and not the nonsense that we're seeing from cancel culture. I also think it's important to look at what J.J. Abrams not only said, but did within his entire production company in the name of woke capitalism, of activist, air quotes, capitalism. Now, I don't see it as capitalism. I see it as Marxist propaganda that benefits globalization. But what did he say? No more white comfort. And as Nerd Roddick likes to say, what that really means is no more middle class comfort. Honestly, I think we as an audience, we as consumers, we as fans cannot forget what he said because he's not sitting still on it. Hello, paging Ta-Nehisi Coates. And here is where we go with who would play, air quotes, Wonder Woman in the Flash movie. All right, follow me here because I'm also trying to understand this. And the more that I read about it, the more unfortunate sense, and I'm using that with extraordinarily tall uh, quotation marks around it, that this makes for Warner Brothers to do. So there was a show on the CW, I'm waiting for you to stop laughing, called Wonder Girl. Now this was in development, but was canceled actually about two months ago. And uh, this was from the writer, Dalen uh, Rodriguez, who said that, it, that she was really sad that uh, they weren't going to make this the next Batwoman, apparently. But Wonder Girl, the character of Wonder Girl, is a Brazilian version of Wonder Woman. And she had been introduced in the DC Comics run of Future State. Now this Yara Flor was born of, as, of an Amazonian warrior and a Brazilian river god. Now, why a character 
from Brazil, you say? Well, my agenda, my representation, my DC Comics current year. Wonder Girl would have centered on Yara Flor, who is a Latina dreamer. Adding to the strangeness of this, there is a Wonder Girl comic set to be published in July of this year. And judging by the many variant covers for that single issue, it is every single thing that the current Wonder Woman, played by Gal Gadot, is not. It's very likely just tinfoil hat thinking that the reason Wonder Girl was canceled was because everyone at Warner Brothers had so much faith in this idea that they didn't want to limit it to the small screen and they wanted to literally uproot Gal Gadot to slap down this other character, which is my representation and my agenda. However, <laughs> it is 2021 and this would make about as much sense <laughs> as not casting Henry Cavill as Superman or Ben Affleck as Batman. I mean, like, don't you ever like think you just, if you just hit yourself in the head enough, maybe you'll get it like with a shoe. Like that's what it takes. Because I, honestly, critical thinking, logic, and again, making money, uh, or even this, uh, your career. Let's say that, you know, all of Hollywood quite clearly is of one political bent, right? They still like making money, right? So, isn't there anywhere between the bullshit we're getting now and the pretty great stuff of the past where they could still get their woke, intersectional, neo-Marxist horseshit messages in and yet not piss us all off to the point where we don't want to see or buy their crap? Is Gal Gadot going to be in this new JJ-verse? I don't know. Would it surprise me if she wasn't? Sadly, no. The problem has been, and I think will continue to be for a very long time, unfortunately, that it's not just the external stuff. It's not just the, the changing of race and gender and whatever else intersectional roadmap you want to look at that is affecting stories that we love. They're actually changing the character of the character, the morality and the baseline actions of what it is to define a hero. Some would call that uh, social engineering. Some would call that uh, destruction of Western canon. Some would call that um, much less talented people taking on things that they shouldn't be allowed to touch. And I think all three of those statements are accurate and reflective of current year. I love me some Gal Gadot. I think she's a, a, a beautiful person. I think she's a great actress. Uh, um, I think it's awesome she has a family and, and if that's her priority for my God, how could anyone begrudge her for that? However, if this is the studio playing games, uh, and again, we're talking to what about Warner Brothers, so uh, of course they are. Um, and that's just bullshit. I will leave you with this parting thought. If corporations are not in the business anymore of maximizing profits and making money, what business are they in? And what business would an entertainment corporation that's not interested in making money instead be interested in trying to do. Maybe this is what they call that stakeholder capitalism. I'm Corey B. And this, as always, is Salty Salish Sea.